So here we are in front of Home of Peace Memorial Park and Mortuary. And um, as I showed up today at the gates of the cemetery, sorry, the cemetery gates, um, one of the things that really depressed me, the first thing that I noticed as we came up to here is that um, there used to be plaques and Stars of David up here, along with the words, you know, Home of Peace. Unfortunately, um, the bronze Stars of David and the markers for the cemetery, the plaques that were here were stolen by people and we believe that it was for, um, no, possibly for scrap metal. As you know, there have been a lot of thefts of plaques. Um, the old Jewish cemetery created in the 1850s near Dodger Stadium, the plaques were stolen from there. And um, we also had plaques from Olvera Street that were stolen as well. Um, recently, there was also plaques from the Cinco Puntos Veterans Memorial um, that were stolen as well. And, um, you know, one of the things that I often stress to people is that I didn't believe that the theft of some of those was anti-Mexican or anti-Jewish. Um, it was just people that were stealing scrap metal to sell, um, as they do, you know, sometimes steal um, copper wire. And it turns out that after these were stolen, the um, employees of the cemetery and the manager here went to a recycling place close by and asked if they had received a bunch of plaques and they said yes and um unfortunately the plaques were already made down into scrap metal and sold on and um so we're very disappointed about that and um you know one of the things that the city has been talking about is creating um you know, a little bit higher of a penalty for the receiving of stolen goods, um, such as our plaques and stolen copper wire. Um, you know, you can almost understand that people in desperation are stealing metal um, from some of these historically important sites. Um, but the real problem is on the end of the recycling companies who are receiving obviously stolen goods and um, instead they should really be calling police um, you know or you know some of these sites in order to return them instead people very cynically are just demolishing what are the heritage of our community and um, you know I think it's really important that we look out for all of the plaques these historical plaques you know it's said that you can judge a people you can judge a culture by the way that they treat their elders by the way that they treat their dead and um you know unfortunately you know um a lot of these plaques a lot of these memorial elements that have been laid out here at this wonderful cemetery um and in other places you know they have not been respected but we still want to perpetuate the memory of those who came before us so we keep raising money and doing our work in order to replace them and sometimes they get stolen again so we are looking to different ways and how to keep them from getting stolen um these bronze plaques up in front they are going to be soon replaced um home of peace has reached out to a foundry that is going to complete that work uh, but we need everyone to look out for the protection of these sites oftentimes people come in the middle of the night um, one two three in the morning and um, that's when they come out in order to um, steal some of these hopefully when they're installed we're gonna try to put them in with at least a minimum of eight inches um, worth of securement into the hard concrete hopefully to keep them but as you see it this was made a little bit easier to steal because someone knocked out the lights here and um, made it easier for people to work without getting caught. Um, 
but it is our responsibility, you know, to look out for these sites. Um, again, we don't believe that this is an act of anti-Semitism. Um, um, we think that this is just people that are stealing for um, recycling purposes. Um, but it is breathtaking. As soon as I showed up to see that they were missing, um, it was just a punch in the gut for me. Um, but I am very happy that management told me today that they are going to be replacing it. And they've also been consulting with me on how to replace the monument at Old Jewish Cemetery in Cemetery Ravine um, next to Dodger Stadium. And um, so we'll keep an eye on this. But, you know, thank you to the management of um, Home of Peace Cemetery for helping to keep um, such a beautiful, beautiful, lovely burial site um, upkept. And um, I hope that maybe in the near future, some of you will join me for a tour of this lovely site. Okay, we're out, guys.